Hey learners, welcome to Ahmed Coaching and this is your teacher Dr. Anam. Today's lesson is about significance of transpiration. But before we start this lesson, I have an announcement to make. I got so many requests to teach in Urdu or Hindi language. So to acknowledge these requests, I have started a new channel in which you can find these videos in Urdu or Hindi language. I will share the link in the description as well as in the i button. So if you wanted to learn these videos in Urdu or Hindi language, you can subscribe to that channel and support that. So let's get back to the topic, significance of transpiration. The first significance of transpiration is that it helps in the ascent of sap. Now the sap is actually water, sugar and minerals. All the things which are required by the plants for their growth and development are present in sap. So the ascent of sap means the movement of water, minerals and sugars from the lower parts to the aerial parts of the plants and transpiration is going to create a suction force by the help of which all these things are going to move upward this is similar to this plastic bottle example you have this plastic bottle and then you are going to press it in the middle to form a suction force and when you will suddenly release your hand from here paper ball it will move inside so this suction force has created the movement of this ball similarly the transpiration is helpful in the creation of such a suction force which helps the ascent of sap. The second significance of transpiration is that it aids in the absorption of water and minerals by the root. So when the water move out of the leaf it is will cause the decrease in water potential so to overcome that water potential water will move from the root and it will enter into the xylem cells so transpiration will be helpful in the absorption of water from the roots or from the soil it maintains water balance by evaporating excess amount of water if too much water is present in the cell they will become turgid and they may also rupture to overcome this situation what excess water it will be removed out of the cell by the process of transpiration so that the cells they are in normal phase another significance of transpiration is that it is very helpful in maintaining the suitable temperature for the leaves and also render cooling effect to the plants when the weather is very hot water vapors they will move out of the plant leaves and when the water vapors and when the water vapors they will move out they will take the heat with them and in turn will cool down the plant it is similar to the process of sweating when it is very hot day you are sweating a lot when that sweat is evaporated from your body you will feel cool so the transpiration is working similarly to the sweating Another significance of transpiration is that it plays vital role in the translocation of food from one part of the plant to the another part. For example, food is prepared in this leaf. Transpiration pull will help in the movement of water to the upward direction. This food it will also move up and it may reach to the other parts, not the leaf or maybe the stem. And the stem will get the food which is required by the process of transpiration another important significance of transpiration that it controls the opening and closing of stomata opening and closing of stomata is very important to maintain the balance in plant cells why because stomatas they are involved in the process of photosynthesis as well as in respiration by controlling the opening and closing of stomata it means the transpiration is indirectly controlling the process of photosynthesis and respiration here you can see that stomatas they are opened when the water molecules they move in the guard cell of the stomata this is happening because the potassium ions they are entering in the guard cells so the water molecules they will always follow the potassium ions so when the potassium ions moving inside the water molecules are also moving inside and this will cause the turgidity in the guard cells and this will in turn cause the opening of the stomata and when the stomata is open it means that carbon dioxide it can enter and oxygen it can come out 
okay stomatas close when the water move out of the guard cell and remember the water will only move out of the cells when the potassium ions they will move out of the guard cells so when the potassium ions are moving out of the guard cells it means the water is also moving out of the guard cells it will flaccid these cells and the stomata it will close the transpiration it also prevent wilting of leaves and plants if the stomata is open it means too much water is evaporating and when too much water is lost in the form of transpiration it means that plant is actually in loss of water and this loss of water can cause the wilting of leaves and plants so the transpiration it will also helps in preventing the wilting of leaves and plants by closing the stomata another significance of transpiration is that it is helpful in the transport of water to the tall plants and this is happening because of the transpiration pool so that was all about the significance of transpiration if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section i will see you in the next video